Hey guys, it's Rick Grimes, and uh, I have an informative piece. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of them today, and uh, this will be part one. The next one will be a video of cheats being used within the game, um, but this one will focus on the infestation of cheaters within the royalty ranks. And uh, Daybreak has, I, and I let it go, okay? I let it go for seven, seven days. Uh, and I reported them all, or reported them, um, and other people have reported them, and uh, made Twitter posts, and nothing, nothing has happened. Daybreak has taken no action on any of these people, and uh, I'm just going to show you. Uh, so the video that I'm about to show you is me recorded uh, before this was recorded, and I actually uh, was just sifting through the leaderboard, just showing you how to spot or red flag cheaters. Um, you know, obviously take into account visual aid that you've seen of them. Um, so it is it is an actual assessment of the the, the royalty tier one first first few tabs. You know, uh, just to educate you on what to look for. Go out and look for these people. Report them. Get them out. The community that regulates itself. Since we don't have no Overwatch system. We have to do the next best thing. We have to basically do Daybreak's job for them because they're so incompetent at what they do. And that's a call out for Brad Wilcox and Bronstad and and, and all them guys that are, in my opinion, uh, not fit for their job. Uh, definitely incompetent in what they do. And uh, even if you have a, uh, a rapport with them, I do feel that they uh, they really have no business in business period so um because they they literally just ignore mail they ignore facts they ignore everything and uh they don't listen to who cares what rick grimes says he doesn't they don't these people don't listen to the community just look at the fact that we're actually in this game and we complain about the china people the complaint on the na servers and they 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 all they do is post little you know things out to us saying we're working on it you know get back to us you know and every patch they do nothing they do nothing that stops the problem we added a ping little ping indicator in the top right corner i don't give a shit about ping i i want the game fixed and when you report people like this guys uh they don't they don't get fixed why because these people they don't do their job so put pressure on them. everybody put pressure on them because we need to get this crap cleaned out. And this is just an informative video on a few tabs within the leaderboard. So enjoy this video, guys. And, uh, you know, we'll move on to the next one. Here you go. This is purely for educational purposes only. So any comments below that are saying that I'm trying to tell people where to buy cheats and all that crap. No, this is educational. This is to alert the general public of the actual crisis that's going on inside this game. And that it is actually a legit problem if you feel that it's not. And you feel that this is actually just some made up video. Then you're living a delusional life. These things are sold in the stacks of hundreds to these people out there. Look how many people we've increased playing inside the game already. We're, we've seen a large influx of people playing or accounts being sold or whatever. Um, could it be the uh, that it's so easily... Uh, accessible that people can pick these things up go ahead and start streaming and bust out i mean go ahead and look at some of the leaderboards here you know go ahead and look at some of the leaderboards i mean just look at this we have um i just want to i just want to point out some of this crazy shit that that i notice okay uh, we have ninja here with a 3.22 percent win rate with a top five finish of five percent with a 5.23 kill to match ratio uh he has 9591 total kills um and uh let me go ahead let's go to season three uh just want to make sure that this is actually yep this is season three and and go ahead and look at um these are, the, these are the blatant indicators. Like this guy with 1,274 kills. 34 uh, is his top match kill. 28 wins. 
to 59 for Ninja? I mean, what? That's... What? What? Okay, 15% win rate. 15%, 21.62% top 10 finish. A 6.89 kill to match ratio. Better than the three people above him. Better than the three people above him. More than 300%. Better, I mean, like, I mean, these aren't even five. So it's literally 15%. Okay, well, let's skip down to the next guy with the win percent. Boom. 15%, 25% with an 8.20 kill to match ratio. 910 kills it took him to get to royalty one. Out of nine, out of 17 total wins, 33 is his top match kill. Care and K. Drewy. Okay, there's another one. Okay, how about how about this guy right here? We just keep going down. You know how you spot them? By the lack of kills to get to tier one of royalty. 19, 11.5% win rate. 16, these are unnatural numbers, people. Bro, bro 2017 underscore woo yeah. Okay, all right. So we have one cheater, two cheater, three cheater. This guy's a blatant cheater. There's another guy who I also have uh, that I want to bring up. Let me go ahead and bring up this guy. He's in royalty tier three. Hold on a second. We'll go ahead and bring this guy up. Okay, so here's this guy, Extremely M. Royalty tier two. He's got eight top match kills. Now this looks totally legit, right? Look at these numbers. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 16, 16, 17, 15, 15, 15. These numbers between 15 and 18 didn't deviate this looks like someone who is trying to not be the leader but still use cheats okay he has 791 total kills to get to royalty tier 2 44 wins remember ninja has 59 wins and 9000 and 791 total kills he has a 29.33% win rate. What in the hell, Daybreak? You can't even check your own leaderboards for the cheaters that are right under your own very nose. You can spot these guys from a mile away. 42% top 10 finish rate? That's ridiculous, Daybreak. Do your fucking job, people. Do your job and protect people from this nonsense from happening. Do your fucking job, Brad Wilcox. Do your fucking job, Bronstad. You guys are terrible at your jobs. Either that or you're absolutely corrupt. Okay? That's the only two options. Either you're incompetent or you're corrupt. Because this shit's right in front of you, guys. Arc Lager, all that shit, bro. Wake up. These people are out there, and they're all over the place in the top tier of playing, okay? How easy could it be to not be a retard like this guy and just throw some losses in to make it look a little bit more legit, okay? It's not very hard. Here's another guy, 1,700. This a little more, a, a YY figures, YY. This is something that probably is absolutely, it probably seems legit. This guy from 14 to 22, not going into the 30 kill range. Could this guy be a cheater? Yeah, he's he could be a lot smarter than this guy and decide to use a little restraint and maybe even just fly in and die and to pad the stats. It's all over the cheat forums that that's what they do. They advise you to just die. Go in there and die. Ruin your stats so that you're not red flagged. They even, they even sell services to, to people. It's called boosting. They'll actually play the game for you and die for you. They'll just play and die. And they'll give you stats. They'll do it for as many days as you want. And it's like a really crappy low fee. And I believe it's fully automated. Like it's just a bot that lands in, runs around in circles, and dies. It's crazy. Um, it, it's all over the cheap forums. So this guy right here. Close this. This guy right here, blatant cheater. All those other guys, blatant cheaters, okay? 
Well, I mean, I just don't get it. I, I really, I really don't get it. You just go to season, season three leaderboards. You can even go further down. I'm sure you'll find more. Um, another guy with 1,200, uh, 1,000. Here's another one. Look at this. Oh, that's the same guy. Uh, 12, uh, 1,221. That's 31 match for his kills. 16 wins. I mean, these are just... This guy's being a little bit more, you know, practicing. Here's, a, here's another one. Tato Soup, 14% win rate. 21%. 7.18. Kill the match. This is... You're all over the place, bro. I mean, because then you can look at the other people. Look, 4,000, 6,000, 5,000. I mean, and they don't have that. Okay? They just, they just don't have that. They just don't have it, guys. And it's really sad. Let's go to the next page. Let's see if they got anything else here. Oh, here's, here's another fucking butte. Look at this guy. Royalty 1, Hilo. 942, 11 and 20. Top 10 finish, 11%. I mean, this guy... Look at this. Another... Another one. This was a blatant fucking cheater. 942 kills to get to royalty tier 1. That's... That's absolutely ridiculous. There's another 1,000 with another high percentage. Look at this. Another cheater. What is this? Art, artist... I mean, we just keep rolling. 34, 24%. 10 and 14%. I mean... This guy, actually, I know this. This is Evan. This is Visions. That's pretty close, man. I mean, look. This, could Visions be a cheater? I don't know. But look at the fucking percentages here. This is unheard of. Although, I have heard Doc say that he is a god gift to gaming. So, if he's a savant, then this would explain this. But, you know, Doc is a champion. Two-time champion, as everybody says. So, who knows? Maybe Visions is. Uh, not saying anything about that. Uh, but this guy here, Sweetheart. There's an... This is even twice Visions. This is twice Visions. Visions is supposed to be the God's gift to gaming. Okay, and he's getting 10%. This guy's getting 24%. I, I, a thousand kills. But look at Visions. 3,800. No one gets this crap in under this, really. It really doesn't happen. This guy, this, this guy could be a blatant cheater too. 7%. These are really high numbers. For a low number of kills. <laughs> Mr. Hyde 90. Here's another one. More legit. These all seem legit. See, I'm not really worried about top 10 finish rate so much. Because you can just camp it and get to like 10, 15%. I can do that. But it's, it's ridiculous when you go to like 40%. What? Go to the next page. Let's see if any more losers are on this page. There's so many of them. Only only legit players so far I've seen on here is Visions. Maybe may like just that has gotten there with a low count kill. But even he had three thousand, so it's whatever. Low count. That's two thousand, give or take. Here's another. Here's another keeper. Look at this guy. Misakas. Royalty one. 782, 12.87% win rate, 7.74, has a better kill to match ratio than Ninja, 19.8% top 10 finish rate. This seems like a guy who's farming his account and just dying to get a few things going, you know? Uh, these all look fairly legit. They actually these all look really legit, really legit. This is an outlier. I don't know what this is. 20%. Has a really high kill count. Possible to 8 point. I mean, it could be possibly, man. Let's see if it's pretty stable. Uh, no, it's pretty blatant. I don't, I don't know who that is, but that could be a cheater too. I mean, these are things that they should look into. Red flags. Red flags. This guy down at the bottom, you know, 1,300. I don't know. It, you have to look at the kills. To get the royalty one, you know. If it's just that fast to get there, bro, there's no challenge to it. And if there's no challenge to it, how come you're not, like, the top guy? We don't know you. Or how come you've never won anything? How come, you know, it's just some cheater that gets on the board cheating their way to Royalty 1. Anyways, that's my soapbox. Daybreak, fix your shit.